How's it going everyone? This is Tricks from Red Dev Smash and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to practice the active hop combo. So I had a couple people saying on the last active hop video that they were having trouble landing this because their opponent could easily escape or air dodge or just get away from them and they couldn't actually land this combo. And so I came up with a little drill that you can use to practice this combo over and over and over again. So first things first, you're going to want to do this against Bayonetta because he has a frame 1 air dodge being bat within. You'll also notice that I have stale moves on and her percent set to 3% and lastly you'll notice that it's going to have a fixed damage which means when you attack her she doesn't actually take any damage. The reason why you want to do this is so that you can simulate getting this grab over and over again and not having to reset the situation by pressing L, R, and A. The reason why you don't want to do that is because it really takes you out of the immersive feeling of trying to actually land this in a real game. So with all that out of the way, the first thing you want to try and do is practice landing this using a face button as jump. I prefer to use Y button, but you can really use Y or X, it's up to you, whatever you prefer is totally fine. You're going to try and land this on the top platform, on the side platforms, it doesn't really matter, just get used to the timing and understanding how you're going to have to manipulate your controls based on where you're standing. Also, you'll notice that the end of the combo doesn't really work because of course Bayonetta is not taking any percent, but we're not really worried about that, we're more so worried about getting the double jump into up air, nair, drag down into re-grab. That's the important part of the combo. And once you've done this quite a few times with Y or X, I would suggest trying it out with a shoulder button. I personally use Z for jump, you might use L or R. All of them are totally fine. I personally like Z because it is a click versus having a spring-loaded button like L or R on a GameCube controller. So I do find it to be more consistent. I highly suggest trying to do this with both a shoulder button and a face button just to see what works out best for you. Once you feel comfortable getting the grabs and also landing the setup consistently, try doing the exact same drill but with fixed damage off and setting Bayonetta's percent back to zero. This way you can practice doing the second half of the combo. And once again if you're paying attention to the controller cam you'll notice that I'm doing both of these exercises with both the Y button or the Z button just to really ingrain the timing in my muscle memory. And once you feel comfortable landing the active hop combo with and without fixed damage, I highly suggest trying to actually finish out Bayonetta's stock so that you can actually see what it looks like to go from getting the grab to actually getting a kill and see how many times you can repeat this process before you lose a stock. There's been a lot of requests from players and asking me how I actually practice this combo and I'll tell you right now this is probably one of the best ways to simulate the situation so that you can actually land it in a real match. And with that, that's going to be it for this practice drill. Be sure to follow Meta of Smash on all social media platforms. We post a ton of unique content there that is not featured on the YouTube channel, so I highly suggest checking it out. And once again, this is Tricks of Meta of Smash saying thanks for watching the video and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this.